Well, so what's going on, guys? So I just finished up some client work in the morning. Uh, I did some, I wrote some programs for my client. Uh, not completely, of course, but I did some work. And I made some video corrections from clients. So with my online coaching, I let my clients send in videos uh, of each day they they train so for example if they did a pull up pulling workout or whatever they send it they send me all the exercises in that they did on a day just one set or two sets of each exercise they send me that video in and then i will give them some advice or some corrections in the email and this way i really stay in good contact with my clients and in, with this way I really know uh, how my clients are progressing and I make sure that they are performing it correctly and based on those videos I might make some changes to the program etc but today is a pretty nice day and it's really sunny out here as you can see so Today is deadlift day or squat and deadlift day. So I'm just going to make uh, just a shake now just to get some calories in. Maybe like one hour. This is like one hour before I will train. So I will drink a shake, maybe walk with my dog, maybe do some more emails and then get ready for training. But first I like to make this shake right now so it can digest and I will be ready for training. Okay, so on to the shake. So I'm just looking to get in some calories and some carbs and some fats to keep me sustained uh, throughout this heavy workout. It's gonna be a heavy workout with a lot of volume. So I don't want to feel hungry or I don't want my energy to get low in the middle of the workout. So I'm just going to make a good shake and I'm going to use casein protein from Organic. Um, this is a raw casein protein. It's a really amazing product. Um, but I'm going to use casein prote protein just because it will digest a little bit slower. And my body will use it when it needs it. So probably before or in the middle of my workout my muscles need some aminos and hopefully it will work like I think it will work <laughs> so it will absorb it right when I need it that's why I'm using some casing I'm going to use some rice milk I'm going to use some rice milk for just to add in some carbs um, I'm going to use one one banana yeah something like that and I'm going to, for fats for fats, I'm going to use some uh, cocos. Uh, so the fats are there just to keep me sustained, and so I won't will not get hungry fast um, when I start to train. Okay, so let's get it on. Let's put everything up in the blender. I don't want a really big shake, but I don't also don't want it to be thick. So I just put in some rice milk first, banana, so for the coconut rest, uh, I might do two spoons. Casein protein. I will just do one big scoop, just like that. It's probably around 50 grams. Okay. So now I'm going to mix it up. 
but safety first, right? coconut tastes really amazing and of course coconut and banana got some good minerals that we need for our training some good electrolytes so that's my shake before training and I'd see you later in the video Sani Zostan Zostan dog after my shake so can digest a little bit better and just get the blood a little bit moving don't want to sit all the time before <clears throat> I start to train and I also don't want to do some mobility yet before training because it can might affect the workout so I'm just going to walk Come home, hydrate, and then start training. Abby! Abby! So last squat workout was 100 kilo for 10 reps and 3 sets and yesterday was uh, bench press or 2 days ago was bench press and my chest is fucking sore still so I don't want to create any strain on my shoulder right now uh, with the back squat with the placement of the bar on the back squat so I'm just going to keep it safe and just do squats with the safety squat bar so one, one day I do high rep squats and today I will do pulse squats.
brothers Cop the gap away Put back the shirt cover But what he saw made the shit stutter He was staring into the eyes of his own mother Back and then he cried Cause he had forsaken her She cried for her And when they were raping her The whole world stopped He couldn't even Change on the world Like the scripts you feel is when you were sleeping a nigga The temple of nights When they took Jerusalem nigga And figured out what was buried under Solomon's temple Al-Aqsa, the name is not coincidental I know too much, the government is trying to murder me No coming back like cutting your wrist open for me Something to be purposely put in charge of the country Give me the sickness, spread amongst me I'm a f***ing in the daytime for no reason Like a f***ing living off the hand that feeds him You know what's that name? Come on. I'm not coming back. I'm This workout went really well, so I started off with uh, safety squats. I did 120 kilo for two reps and three sets. So with the safety squat bar, it's really hard to get the upper back tight, just because you cannot uh, pull the bar down and re retract your shoulders. Um, so the safety squat bar is always a little bit harder than the normal back squat. Um, but it still felt good. So then I moved on to deadlifts for 120 kilo for 10 reps and 3 sets. Um, so I changed something and which made my deadlifts uh, much better. And that was just uh, keeping the bar against my shin. So in the start position I just walked up uh, to the bar with my shins against the bar. And that really made a huge difference. I could remain really tight. Uh, the activation of my lats is getting better each workout. Uh, I'm starting to learn the movement again. But it was pretty hard uh, doing it for three sets. But it was perfect. Of course it, the training must be hard. But the big volume with high reps is pretty hard to do. And then I performed snatch grip deadlifts from the elevation with 100 kilo. I performed 8 reps for 3 sets there too. Uh, I really love that movement. Uh, I used to do snatch grip deadlifts a lot when I first started deadlifting. And I believe it can really teach you how to uh, use the hips and legs. And it just puts uh, so much more strain on the back and the upper back because of the wider grip. Uh, the angle changes a bit. Um, 
you should compare the deadlift uh, position with the um, snatch grip deadlift position. Uh, compare them next to each other from the same angle and you will see a huge difference. Uh, so I recommend anybody to do the snatch grip deadlifts. Um, and then I moved on to suitcase deadlifts. Uh, I did it with a 28 kilo kettlebell uh, just to start, start the movement again. Uh, this is a really great movement uh, for accessory on the deadlift because um, when you try to remain a straight body it will really work your obliques so you will uh, you will create more st strength and stability in the obliques which make your deadlift and squat so much more stable and stronger uh, you hear many powerlifters uh, talk about activating the obliques when squatting or deadlifting and by of course training it you can activate it I mean, if you never use the muscle properly, you can definitely not activate it in the squat or the deadlift. And I superseted this with side planks. Uh, people really underestimate uh, planks and side planks. I think it's one of the best core exercises you can do. But especially for accessory work for the uh, static holds in calisthenics and squat and deadlift because you have to uh, keep your body in an isolated position so in the same position at all the time and you have to remain tight you have to learn how to stay tight and you have to build endurance in it if you're squatting with uh, for five reps or ten reps and so by working on the on the static uh, planks you will just get better in that static movements because you have to remain in the same position all the time when you're deadlifting or squatting you have to be stable like a fucking pyramid so those are really underestimated by many and if you're not doing them you should really do them and that was my workout i did not do any rowing work or pull-ups because i will do that tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoy this video again and i forgot to mention something so i write everything down in my notebook uh, so just just so I can look back at the workouts. Uh, sometimes you forget exactly what you, you what you have done the uh, last workout you did, and by having a, a notebook you can just look look back and see what what you did for all those sets, and then you can really uh, make sure you make progress each workout. So write all your workouts down. Uh, also in the future, after three months, you can uh, or after one year, you can always look back and see uh, what worked, what what did not work, and um, uh, when you have a bad bad uh, phase, you can always see that then, uh, and you can look back from what phases was working for you better. So. This will that will this simple thing will really take your level uh, training to the next level. So that was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace out.